We've been looking at sustainability in materials and design aspects for over 20 years now. And one of the biggest issues has been around how we can make the biggest impact by changing the way the fashion industry works at a systemic level. So what we've been trying to address is how can we think of fashion as doing good and create an industry that can be restorative and circular right from the concept through production and use. The reason we started looking at paper was really thinking about what would be the most recoverable, the most sort of light in production material that we could possibly start with. You know, this isn't, strictly speaking, paper as we know it. It's a, it's a new material based on paper making. So we have to think of it in, in textile terms because uh, the connotations of, of paper often make people worry that it will melt in the rain or not withstand wear. So we're really trying to produce something that is very practical and new in this way, but by developing the material from the fibre up. The stronger the paper, on the whole, the stiffer it is. And that's not good for wearability. The softer, more wearable it is, the weaker it is on the whole. So we can soften it by crushing it, so that it's a much more drapey, wearable thing. One of the other issues to do with wearability is this difficulty of there being no stretch. So we're putting mechanical stretch in by trying various ways in which we're steaming the material into some kind of pleats. And we can also introduce to the prototypes that we're constructing a kind of way of joining one to another with an ultrasound bond. The finishes we've been working on here um, range from dyeing, you know, we're, we're changing the colour of the material in various ways, all bio-based natural dyeing systems, through to waterproofing the material, decorative finishes that change the surface qualities, so numerous ways we can really change the behaviour, the function and the aesthetic. One of the most recent, we're still just developing now, is the use of a, a laser to surface the material. And the laser surface and the ultrasound and the pleating all work because of the PLA fibre in the paper. This would not work on 100% wood pulp. So what I'm hoping here is that we can demonstrate some, just some of the possibilities for the new technologies to be fused with the old technologies and actually produce something as a cleaner um, production system. In Sweden, where the project is based, they have incredible resources to make the paper and an industry sort of infrastructure built to produce this material. So we've really adopted and adapted that process in this material development. But we still have to understand how does the consumer behave with those materials. We might have fantastic ways of recycling um, materials when they're finished with, but we need the users to be part of that system, to bring the material back um, to the right place. So it's no good looking at materials um, on their own. We have to see them as part of a much bigger um, network and bring that into the design process from the start.